Hi there. I am just in case, and this is my rant for today. There are very few people I've ever met who enjoy small talk. I'm not one of them. I like to have interesting conversations with people I've never met before. So on some level small talk is a necessary pain in the axle. The point of small talk is to get out of small talk as quickly as possible. There's something of a game to small talk and that you can get good at playing this game. There are conversational tactics that you can practice and master that make it easier to open a conversation. You have to guess what interest the two of you have in common, but you just don't know what it is yet. Assuming the shared interest is there will help motivate you to search for it, which will obviously help you to discover it. So assume that you and your conversation partner have an authentic shared interest and that this authentic shared interest is discoverable. The best way to do that is to be a generous communicator. What does that mean? Being a generous communicator means giving your conversation partner several opportunities to progress the conversation in each exchange. So for instance, if someone asks me, where are you from? I could answer, but that's just a factual piece of information. I'm kind of forcing my partner to do a lot of the work that is already starting to feel like an interview. On the other hand, if I were to be a more generous communicator, I could respond. I was born and raised in downtown Newark, near the Passaic River, which was made for a pretty interesting childhood, but I've spent time in Bay Area, and now I live in New York. In this response, I've given so many pathways forward, I mentioned three different places. I was open to discussing my childhood experiences and left an open question with respect to my future plans, and if none of that was interesting, they could ignore it and just talk about themselves. Now this person has several possibilities to move the conversation forward and is likely going to pick the pathway that is closest to something that he actually resonates with, which represents an authentic interest. You may not get there on the first try, but if you pay attention to your partner's feedback, you can feel out whether you're moving closer to your goal. It's kind of like a game of hot and cold, and if you model generosity in communication, this often invites the other person to reciprocate at that level of generosity. Keep this up and within a few back and forth, you won't be making small talk anymore. You'll actually be talking about something the two of you authentically care about that's an interesting conversation and the funny thing is, with practice you can get there in less than a minute and then maybe you won't dread small talk so much. Assume there is an authentic shared interest that you can discover be a generous communicator and practice. Thank you for listening.